Big up the man, them holding it down. The C U U K. I mean, it, it, it's a, a, a abuse of young girls, typically by men, uh, has no ethnic boundaries, but. This particular kind of gang abuse mm. is, is particularly, I'm sorry to say, but it's just true, um, it's particularly prevalent amongst the Pakistani heritage community. Mm. So it's not actually amongst the Indian heritage community, there's a bit of that, or the Bangladeshi one, it's, a, it's a, something wrong inside the, the culture of some Pakistanis and, and, their, and their groups. And then, of course, in relation to the grooming that's going on with gangs, it does predominantly tend to be Pakistani men, and that makes us uncomfortable because we don't want to be seen as racist. But actually, it's not racist, it's just calling out a perpetrator and identifying a characteristic. The grooming gangs are, without doubt, of Pakistani heritage in Telford, and there have been two cases that were prosecuted where uh, gangs of Pakistani men uh, were sentenced for long periods of time for abuse of white working class girls who came from difficult backgrounds. Who were... I, I agree when it comes to on street gang grooming, there's an over representation of Pakistani men that are going out there, not just raping white girls, but raping Asian girls and different girls, because a lot of the other girls find it very difficult to speak out. Rather, I'm the um, independent inquiry, uh, the J report that was published in late 2014, uh, which identified 1,400 girls in that town as having been targeted. Um, that report said that, and I quote, almost all the identified offenders were of Pakistani origin, and that was in a town where the Pakistani population was 3% of the overall population. Recognise that this type of abuse has involved a small proportion of Pakistani men in this country, and and we must talk about it just like we talk about white abuse, just like we talk about abuse in the uh, in the Turks. Sadly, I think there is political correctness going on. I think people uh, historically have been more concerned about um, not being seen racist than they have been concerned about protecting children. That has to change, and it has to change right now. We have to work together and uh, address this. If they're going to be keep dismissive, the community, there's going to be reactions, there's going to be people taking things in their, into their own hands. Big up the man, them holding it down, the C-U-U-K. C -U -U